Hello, I'm John Sicardi. Today I'm going to talk to you about Practical Instrument Electronics RTD Calibrator line. Similar to the thermocouple line, there are four different models in this series. The Pi 510B and 511B are simulate or source only. The 510B is configured to one RTD type, while the 511B to 10. Both these calibrators also will simulate or source the uh, resistance value that corresponds to the RTD. In the read and source line, there's the Pi 211 and the Pi 311. These also will source all 10 different RTD types and read them, along with the corresponding resistance value. The 311 has higher accuracy. Both the 211 and 311 have a value-added feature that other calibrators don't, our patented auto-detection of RTD connections. Our units also work with some of the newer transmitters and RTD sensors that are pulsed at high uh, excitation currents. Our calibrators can pick up current signals as small as 10 milliseconds. Today we'll do a demonstration on how our patented RTD wire detection works. For this, I'll be using a PT100 RTD sensor. We'll put the 311 into read mode, and we'll double click on the knob to get into the menus. We'll set this for degrees Fahrenheit. The RTD type is a platinum 100, and the coefficient 0.3850. A secondary display on the 311 will tell us what the resistance value is. And we'll make sure that we have our auto off set to on, our backlight set to on also. Like other Pi calibrators, connections are made in the back of the calibrator. I'll remove the boot here just for ease of viewing. We'll be using a four wire RTD. So, as you can see, wires 1 and 4 and 2 and 3 are marked on the back of the calibrator and we'll just make sure that our RTD sensor is connected correctly. As you can see now, the display on the calibrator tells us RTD type and coefficient, the ambient temperature of the room, and the resistance value, which is 109.58 ohms, which corresponds to this type of RTD at this temperature. Importantly is the top of the display, which tells us we're using a four-wire RTD and that we have connections on wires 3, 2, 1, and 4. We'll just make sure that this RTD is working correctly by applying some heat here. And as you can see, the temperature is rising. Now, if we have a problem out in the field where one of our connections gets broken, one of these icons will lose its display and will not be illuminated anymore. What I'll do here is I'll cut one of the wires, wire number three. There we go. And as you can see now, the icon for wire number three is no longer illuminated. And we have an error message on the screen telling us to check connection number three. So that's how easy it is to troubleshoot bad wire connections from your RTDs using a Pi 211 or 311 RTD calibrator.